And welcome back to Webtoon Rant and today we've got Please Throw Me Away. Now this is quite a typical webtoon and probably one of the one of the lower end ones that I'm gonna discuss, but it is still good and have some good elements to it which make it, you know, a readable webtoon. Otherwise I wouldn't have read it at all. So I'm gonna talk about what makes it special. Essentially, this webtoon is a very, very typical uh, girl kind of romancy, like, oh, the prince in shining armor type webtoon. There is a girl who has been abused by her family. Essentially, the girl is this, was replacement, was a replacement for a noble family's daughter. And she, she kind of pretended to be the noble family's daughter for, in, in turn, instead of the actual daughter who died years ago. And because of that, the family, like, hates her ass. And they abuse her, and and they hate her. They just hate her. And then you know there's the disease called Carlet, which is the disease that you know killed that killed the other killed the actual daughter. And it's this weird ass disease that makes people turn into dust and may or may not be related to the emperor, who seems pretty blatantly evil. And essentially, she dies, like she dies, like she you know, like literally, she she dies. She gets stabbed by a bunch of people. And then she reincarnates, woo, not reincarnates, I mean, she goes back in time, and she become. she goes back years ago, and, and now she has a second chance at life. And essentially, in this second chance, a pretty, pretty t typical series of events occur. She go into the woods during the hunt hunting party, find a magical thing that has mysterious letters on it, that, that seems to call to her. She meets a knight in black armor, Finds out the knight is a a duke, and then realizes she has magic powers that that help get rid of Carlet the disease, and that he is being targeted by the emperor to become his next host because apparently the emperor is an evil demon inside of him. Awesome, it's a good summary. And the couple things that I want to really like point out about this webtoon that is actually really good for a webtoon of this caliber is the kind of like the psychological aspect or to be exact kind of like the child abuse aspect you know all she wanted was some love all she wanted was love from her family and and she didn't get that and this time she has a chance to do that and and in in a lot of ways that's really beautiful and she gets that from hexion the black knight or you know the handsome guy and you know they they marry and it's this fight against corruption, it's this fight against a demon, and it's it's almost like, you know, it's just about, it's really just about trying to find a family, trying to find love to be with. And that's the beauty of it. But, I gotta say, it's typical. There's nothing really original about it that I find incredibly, like, appealing. And the, the tip, like, you know, the, oh, I died, my family's abusive, like, you know, abusive family, I've seen it done much, much better, several, several times. And the type where, oh, I, I got abused by my family, then I married someone really powerful, or I got adopted into a really powerful family, and now, you know, I can have revenge on my family. I've done, I've seen so many different webtoons that does way better than this webtoon. And, um, you know, I, I got rescued by my charming prince um, when I was being, you know, abused by my family. I've done, I've seen that even done better. So, like, even, it, it's like a combination of a lot of cliches that I see very, very often, except it isn't as well executed. And that's why I put it in D tier because you know if it's a cliche and extremely well executed, like in the in the sense of let's say SSS class suicide hunter, then this would have ranked much much higher. But it uses a lot of cliches. It has a decent plot line. It has some decent character development. It has a, it has a little bit of themes of love and stuff, but it's pretty typical and not really super super intriguing and nothing new about it. So in other words, that kind of combines into a good old D tier. And I think this is the first D tier that I've ever reviewed. And again, if you're a fan of this webtoon, I'm not saying it's a bad webtoon. I'm just saying that compared to the other webtoons that are in A, B, and C tier, it's a bit lacking in terms of, well, everything. And yeah, it's a pretty good webtoon. And if you like the fairy tale style story where, you know, a girl is swept off her feet by by a guy, by this cool black knight, you know, duke, handsome guy who's very, very rich and would do literally anything for her, then go ahead. But I must remind you and I must warn you that there are many, many better options than this webtoon, which has like literally more superior artwork, a superior way of even using the rewind time, and I got abused by my family cliches, and just simply better. 
And again, and I, I want to state this again and again, like, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to diss this webtoon or anything. I'm just trying to give, give you guys an objective kind of view, point of view because I've read over like a hundred something webtoons. So although I'm not, you know, like an authority in webtoons or anything, I have a little bit of a decent idea of how these things go. And in my point of view, this is not nothing that hasn't been done better than it. And that's about it. Have a great day, everybody. It was Welcome Rand. Goodbye.